Hey everybody, welcome to Turks and Jerks. Week 12 in the NFL season is complete. Jason Rubin, Michael Shore, uh, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Jason, it's the Odell Beckham show. <laughs> <laughs> Not two hands. What's wrong with you? I, so that was... Do you want to do? No, it's a it. David Tyreek. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, there we go. I knew you'd screw it up. Yeah. Talk about it. <laughs> um, well, the table's elevated. I tripped on the. Okay, so that was the best catch I've ever seen, um, and it is. Uh, uh, and I think what made that catch better, I'm positive, what made that catch better is that not only was it just an amazing catch, was that before the game, yeah, NBC shows him working on it. He's practicing that. So a couple of things. One, that was an amazing piece of television. That was great storytelling that we see him practice, and then it comes up with this amazing catch. Um, because normally you see a guy practicing with one hand, and you're like, just use two hands. Stop, sh stop showing off. But it turns out he's doing. And then the other part was this part of it. Can the we get a tight? Can we get the tight the shot two here? Two fingers. <laughs> yeah, like like there. How can I do this? How can I? I can't do it. That's we, how I can't. We have a few of the pictures. No, I know, I know. But it's better with me and, and Gatorade. the Gatorade. Um, the. Uh, <laughs> He didn't even do this. Right. He did this. That's unbelievable. There's a so uh, Jason. What happened? The internet uh, has uh, obviously embraced they, this. They thought Kim Kardashian's ass was gonna break the internet, but obviously this is way more important. So there's a few uh, memes from Bleacher Report that came out and said these are some other things that Odell Beckham could have saved or caught, and they did a pretty good job. So we're gonna throw to a few of those. Uh, there's one. Uh, so I guess Odell. That's pretty the hand great. Of God. Yeah. So he, I don't understand that. That's 50 that's cents. The, uh, ben that's doesn't cents. know that piece of art. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, the roof, it's the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel, but it's the hand of God. And, you know. right, but what's he saving or catching? No, it's just, it's like he's, he's, just, he's just pointing to the, yes. he's pointing, okay, yeah, right. God. Yeah. Yes. It's not that great. Okay. It's a great uh, one. That's 50 cents uh, first. That's something people pitch. know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Uh, that's great. That's uh, that's right. Do so they have they have Delabates too? They have Baba Booey. I think that they did have. Uh, well, there's the mon again. He's beating the monsters in this one. Okay, um, nice. Yeah, <laughs> stretching like MJ. That's good. Uh, thank you, corkedbats.com. And ah, uh, <laughs> blocking so blocking uh, MJ's shot. game winner. Right. And I believe there's okay. The Lord of the Rings. Oh, that's nice. Also very <laughs> that's nice. I think that's uh, even yeah. though I don't know why See, the I didn't ring get that one. <laughs> saving the dinosaurs. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's funny. And lastly, I believe one that Cubbies fans would absolutely uh, love. Bartman, for. Steve Bartman. Right, Moises <laughs> Alou. And uh, saving the Cubbies from. It's funny, from both Moises, Moises and Moses making an appearance. Yes, there. Right, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, that was good stuff. So, um, uh, did you uh, did you see it as it happened? I did see it as it happened. One of the things I wanted to mention also was that Odell Beckham's been doing this in practice before the games all season long. Yeah, so really, NBC yeah. showed it. You know. This time, but they've also showed it. I think last time they were on Sunday Night Football, which I think was also against the Cowboys. So you're saying it's a little weak that he hasn't done it yet <laughs> in a game? I mean, this is a guy who's made circus catches his whole life. He did it. I think he yeah. went to LSU, if, if I am correct about that, and he was doing crazy catches I there. I home. like the nickname ODB, by the way. Um, so ODB McDowell. Do you guys know who ODB is? Yeah, old dirty. Old dirty. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm know impressed. That. Do you know who Odeby McDowell is? No. Yeah. See. <laughs> Forget it. Um, Odeby Young again. Odeby Young again. <laughs> McDowell. Yeah. He's a baseball player. Uh, what era? Eighties. Nineties. Nineties. Yeah. yeah. Rangers. Fair. I think fair. Mets too. Indians too. Did he ever I play think. the Mets at the end? Maybe. Um, I don't know. Anyway, so uh, back to Odell Beckham Jr. So this guy is about to be uh, one of in the almost already in the elite group of receivers. Yeah. yeah. He caught ten balls for nearly 150 yards. The two scores a game. The Giants should have won. You know, you're up 21-10. You're playing at home. You should probably win that game. Um, but what was Another thing, it's another segment we've been doing is this segment uh, Ben versus the Raiders, my, yeah. my fantasy football team versus the Raiders. The Raiders, as everybody knows, uh, God stepped up and came through for the Raiders because you pray hard enough to God and Jesus, fully believe in Jesus, God all the way. And God. So, you know, my theory on that, because that was Derek Carr after yeah. the game, right? Was that uh, hard to explain then how God made the Raiders go. Of course, they 10. were 0 and 10 prior right. to that. I think God forgot there was a Thursday night game. We all forget. Yeah. Right? <laughs> That's true. Right. Yeah. And then all of a sudden he's like, Thursday, oh my God, the Raiders won. Jesus. I can't believe I yeah. screwed this up. Yeah, and he's on a totally different uh, time, like, zone. He's a time zone. You know, different it's different a time zone, zone issue. He also fact, might not get the uh, the package. The, well, the, <laughs> he used to just be on NFL Network. He got used to not right. having Right, he got the games on CBS, yeah. but not the NFL Network. Exactly. Games. All possibilities. So, but we're doing Ben versus the Raiders. And so the Raiders won. Uh, I have not, uh, I continue to lose. But uh, Odell, Beckham Jr. played a huge role in this, so I am now 0-12, but I was down to uh, Michael Schur 
who I was playing this week by like 10 or 11 points. It was close. And we made a bet. The, 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 the fantasy website predicted our final score, 106 to 68. So Michael and I made a $20 bet, and he gave me 38 points. <laughs> right? So I had myself minus 38. plus 38 against wow. Michael. And I was down like 12, and Michael had one player left, Oda B. McDowell. I think I had a player, too. I had Oda B. McDowell. You had Oda B. McDowell. <laughs> you had Odell Beckham Jr., and I had somebody, I thought. No. Am I done I, now? I, you're done. We're oh, both. It's done. over. Anyway, because of Odell Beckham Jr., I lost by 39 and a half points. And yeah. I now, I now owe Michael 20 dollars Anything you two won't bet on? No. No. Okay. There's nothing. Really. Um, <laughs> we used to sit outside. Well, not that we wouldn't do it today, but we used to sit outside and bet on whether the next five cars to pass would be American cars or foreign cars. Um, oh, that's right. That was a good game. That was a good game. So, uh, the the big question though is obviously we think it may have been the best catch we've ever seen, yeah. but do other NFL players think it's the best catch they've ever seen? Uh, I think we asked uh, we asked Marshawn Lynch that question. Yeah. So Marshawn Lynch thinks it's the best catch. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so Lynch, I guess, tried to avoid his fine. Right. It's ten thousand dollars. By the way, does anybody else find it ridiculous that you get fined for not talking to the media? No, I think you should get fined for not talking to the media. Do you believe that? Yeah, one hundred percent. One hundred percent. This is the, these are football players. This is how we how we digest that information. And it's through, a symbiotic be, relationship. Without be, the media, nobody's going to know who Marshawn Lynch is. You know, I mean. Well, I mean, with the media, we don't really know too well, much about. But, but you know what I mean. But he, he would not. Nobody but I guess would be like, should there be an allowance of or a loud amount of you don't, no? You, you don't have to say anything interesting, you can say, yeah. you can make it so they'll never go to you because yeah. you go, gave 110%, did all I could. Yeah, you can okay. just say that, you know. Well, uh, you can say, honestly, Michael, I, I don't even really feel like talking right now, but it was a tough loss. Yeah, I mean, you yeah. can give them two minutes, but you know, Michael and I have both become friends with various beat reporters around the country, and they very quickly learn who the people to go to. Right. Uh, are and the people who don't cooperate, you just yeah. you don't talk to them. You or get story aren't, you, just aren't good interviews. They're not good interviews. Yeah, yeah. they they get nervous. There's, you're allowed to be nervous and you're allowed to not enjoy it, but you can't literally skirt the media. And in fact, I'd be curious to see whether the NFL. I don't think they'll find him, but they may well say, Marshawn, maybe give him live, live yeah. give us a little bit. Give five real minutes. That's it. That's yeah. all you got to do. Give five real minutes. And Ben, one of the questions was asking, what song Marshawn was listening to? Who's that song by? That song is by I've already forgotten, Jason. No juice by uh, Lil Bottoms. That's not right. Um, 